let's look at some of the bones that are most easily seen from inside the skull. So we've removed the cranial cap from this particular skull. And in here, we can see this bone that uh, in three dimensions actually looks quite a bit like a bat. And this one is called the sphenoid bone. The most important structure in the sphenoid bone is this little guy, which is called the cella tersica, which means the Turkish chair. Um, in front of the sphenoid bone, you can identify this very small piece of the ethmoid bone. The ethmoid bone starts here, and we see two parts of the ethmoid bone. This little area that sticks up is called the Christagalli, which means the rooster's comb. And around it, where these dots are, this is called the cribriform plate. These are both parts of the ethmoid bone. The other part of the ethmoid bone was this upper part of the nasal septum. We also can see the occipital bone now. And the occipital bone has got a couple of structures that you should be able to identify. This large hole is called the foramen magnum and that actually means big hole in Latin. On either side of the form in magnum, we have got these two joint surfaces. This is where your skull will attach to the very first bone of your neck. And these two are called the occipital condyles. This is the occipital bone. These are the occipital condyles on either side of the form in magnum. Other bones that we haven't seen yet are here at the roof of the mouth. And the front part of the roof of the mouth, these are the palatine processes of the maxilla. Just behind the palatine processes of the maxilla are the palatine bones.